What's up, everybody? Welcome back. My name is Benjamin Summer. Uh, this is another Carrera uh, Grass Valley switcher tutorial. Um, we're going to be covering uh, a very important topic and one that's been requested a lot lately, which is eMEMS. How do I use eMEMS? What are eMEMS? What are they good for? I don't know, man. I've never used them. Well, this is the video for you then, okay? All right, today we're going to be covering eMEMS in the M2 bus here, okay? But eMEMS can work in any of the buses, including the master eMEM bus, the ME1 bus, no matter what you want to do, okay? Over, well, let's get started. All right, so what do eMEMS actually do? eMEMS are useful for storing certain setups you create on the switcher. Let's say you make a setup with different graphics and different alignments. Let's say for like a sports talk show, something like that, where it takes a lot of work each time to set it up. eMEMS are nice because it allows you to store the state of what you're currently at and recall it later. You can do whatever you want on the board and then you press one button and boom, it's back. Very easy, you don't have to reprogram everything again once you've done it once. So we're gonna show you how the system works uh, right here, right now. So here's your EMEM panel here. It looks similar on all the MEs, including the Master ME, ME1, whatever you're using, okay? Each one is gonna have a numpad, it's gonna have pages, and it's gonna have banks. EMEMs are nice because you can record a lot of different EMEMs. You can record over 700 of them, which is really nice. Um, you can select the page here, you can select the bank using this button, and then you can select which one you want to store it to. So it's a very robust system and allows a lot of storage. That being said, be careful not to record over anyone else's EMEMs or else they'll get mad at you and not let you use the board again. So just be careful, okay? Okay, so I've set up a couple EMEMs to demonstrate here. Um, right now we're on the third one, okay? If you look at the screen here, you see that when I press one, two, or three, it's gonna pull up different graphics setups, just like that, okay? I program these ahead of time. So this is the recall function of an EMEM to kind of, you can forget about something, you can set whatever you want, okay? You can remove your keys, whatever you want. As soon as you press the button, everything comes back as it was. So you can make any changes you want, and it comes back exactly how it remembers it, okay? So let me show you how to actually create an EMM for yourself. So we're gonna make a, a new setup here, and I'm gonna show you how to save it. So we're gonna make a new lower third setup. I don't like this one anymore, okay? So we're gonna, we're gonna get rid of the key for now. We don't want it, okay? Uh, I want a new camera. I don't like this shot anymore. Camera two is good. Uh, we're gonna assign our key to the bars. Why not? I'm gonna bring it back in. Uh, but now it takes up the full screen. I don't want that. So I'm just gonna make it, just gonna move it around. Now it's tiny. I don't like that. Let's make it bigger. Okay. See, now you got your news headlines down here. Very good. Okay. Just like it would be in the real uh, news watch. Okay. Perfect. All right. So now we have our nice setup here. Okay. And now I wanna save it. All right. What are you gonna do? You're going to pick an empty bank, okay? Keep in mind, like, I've used one, two, and three already. I showed that I was recalling them. So don't touch these, okay? So I'm going to use four, five, and six in this case. So I'll hit learn first, and this tells the board, okay, I want to save a new EMEM, and I'm going to hit four, okay? That's all you have to do. That's it. Now, if we recall one of our previous ones, that still works just the same. We didn't know we were right anything. If I hit four, boom, we're back to exactly how it was uh, when I set the EMEM. Just like that. So today we use the ME2 eMEMS, but generally uh, a lot of uh, board users like to use the master eMEM, which is on the uh, main program bus. But you have to keep in mind, this is a very powerful tool and it remembers a lot, okay? It won't just remember what's in program or what keys you've selected. It'll also remember what auxes you have, what's in preview, uh, the position of keys, stuff like that. So for quick shows like something like Noose, it might not be a good idea to set up all your stuff in eMEMS and then try and recall, oh, I want to pull an OTS or I want to pull this camera with a with a uh, lower third. It's it can get kind of messy because you have to be very careful in what you save. Uh, but for shows like sports where you kind of set it up and forget it and then pull it later, it's perfect for use cases like that. Okay, so just keep that in mind when you're using eMEMS. So if you guys want to check out some more complicated uses of eMEMS, such as using them for transitions or cool effects. You can check out our uh, double box uh, video that we uh, posted on the channel. Uh, you can find that in the description or in the comments. Um, 
But that's kind of it for today's video. Uh, if you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments. Uh, we'll be happy to answer them. And uh, yeah, thank you very much.